All right, let's talk about the smallest Bible in the world. First of all, I talk about the Apocrypha a lot in my videos. I enjoy the Apocrypha. I feel well grounded in the 66 book canon, and I know how to test scripture, which is a very lost art. Um, not boasting, just saying they don't teach it, and it took me a really long time to figure out how to do it. Um, so I do spend a lot of time in the Apocrypha, but not to be saved. Let me explain. People say, oh, well, why are you even reading the Apocrypha? You don't need it to be saved. And I agree, you don't. In fact, my smallest Bible in the world, two books that you need to read to be saved, in my opinion, Deuteronomy and Matthew. You don't even need the rest of the Bible. Those are the only two books of the entire Bible you need. Between those two books, you have every single thing you need. Unless you're a Paulian, then apparently you need Paul's letters or you're not saved but we can save that conversation for another time. How I look at the Apocrypha is this. If you know how to test it, and you know whether it can be considered scripture or not if it passed the test, then it's kind of like icing on a cake. Do you need icing on a cake? No, but it gives it so much more depth. It's like mortar in between the bricks. It just gives you a bunch of extra history, a bunch of extra prophecy, um, and it just shows you a lot of went on in our world. And I very much enjoy having that information, but you don't have to read it. And if you're curious about the Apocrypha, check out my Apocrypha playlist. I have a bunch of videos in there where I go over a bunch of really interesting stuff in the Apocrypha. But no, you do not need it to be saved. But if I had to pick an abridged version of the Bible to take with me in an apocalypse, and uh, I only got to pick a certain number of books... For me, it would be Deuteronomy, Isaiah, Psalms, Proverbs, Matthew, James, and 1 John. Those are like the books I couldn't live without. And then if I had to pick two in the Apocrypha to add on to that, it would be Enoch and 2 Estrus. Two books every single Christian should read, by the way. But like I said before, it's not required. It's just very interesting. So that would be my baby Bible, my books I could not live without. And in case somebody asks me about Paul's writings, well, like I said, you don't need Paul's writings and you shouldn't need them to be saved. But if I had to bring with me some of Paul's writings, probably be Hebrews and maybe Titus or 1 Corinthians. Those are some of the better ones of Paul's. I really like Romans too, but I know how to read it and it's complicated if you don't know how to read it and don't know the context he's speaking of. But either way, I'm very curious. Comment below. Tell me which books you couldn't live without in the Bible. I love you guys.